Here's Gilbert, that inside shuttle pass. Incomplete. And, uh, incomplete. Or is it a fumble? Picked up by Darius. Darius in the air. Darius going for the end zone. That could be a touchdown. If he's got it in the air, that's an interception and a touchdown. That was a shuttle pass, remember? And the way they're celebrating, you think in all the world that Marcel Darius, who knocked Colt McCoy out of the game, now the officials are going to huddle. Obviously, instant replay. We'll take a look at the replays upstairs and make sure. But if he caught it in the air without it hitting the ground, interception, touchdown, yep. Alabama. His only play is an interception and a touchdown. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 57 on the scoring team. The 15-yard penalty will be enforced with the kickoff. Well, that, that play happened so fast. The shovel pass. I really thought that with the juggling that the ball may have hit the ground, but it, it did not. And that's exactly what Texas did not want to do. You they wanted to get to the halftime, 17-6. to 6. They're the ones who called the timeout. Tiffin on the field, a buzz in the crowd. The dagger may have come out early. Tiffin tacks on another. And even the play call with a shovel pass, you're going to think that the worst case, Monroe's going to drop it, and it's incomplete. The ball is bouncing all around right there. I thought it may have hit the ground, but I, no chance. He is all over that, and, and big number 57 tonight, Darius, has been a big factor. He's the young man who knocked Colt McCoy out. He's had a lot of opportunities to get pressure on Gilbert, and this time very alert. Keep in mind, he's 300 pounds. What an athlete exactly what Nick Saban needed that's that's what he's been waiting for an opportunity to get the, the freshman to turn the football over and he finally got it